Hello, my name is Sonny Zhang. The title I will present is Correlation of Digital Literacy, Loneliness, Quality of Life, and Health Promoting Behaviors in the Young or the Elderly. Its Introduction Due to the rapid aging of the population, our society, which is expected to account for 50.7% of the population aged 65 and over in 2020, 20.3% 20 in 2025, and 43 point nine percent in twenty sixty. It's demanding various welfare policies for the elderly. As we entered an aging society, improving the welfare and quality of life of the elderly has become an important axis of social welfare. In old age family relationships and uh, social interactions such as uh, retirement of the death of spouse decrease. These changes lead to a decrease in social events and the loss of social networks which lead to depression, anger disorder, loneliness, suicide and fear. As the internet is popularized, the inequality of online use is further exacerbating the alienation of the elderly from the information vulnerable class. This because old people with higher distal literacy have a higher self-esteem and they have a positive effect on life satisfaction. By empirically analyzing the effect of distal literacy among the elderly on their feelings of loneliness, quality of life, and health promotion, cultivating this literacy among the elderly and uh, reducing the information gap so the most important welfare policies for the elderly and prepare for a super aged society. It's an important policy task to since the level of information acquisition and participation varies according to the level of digital literacy, it's recognized that improving digital literacy is very important in resolving the information gap problem. In an aging and information society, the use of information and communication technologies such as PCs and the internet is mentioned as a major component of positive life satisfaction. Online activities to communication with others prevent social isolation and mention bands are a means to improve the quality of life of the elderly. Accordingly, interest in the role played by information and communication technologies to improve the mental and the physical stability and life satisfaction of the elderly is increasing. For the elderly in Korea, loneliness is pointed out as a serious problem experienced in all the Asia economic difficulties and health problems. Although there are 
various factors that aggravated the feelings of loneliness in the elderly, uh, psychological and social atrophy due to loss of social role and health status were found to be the most related. It has been reported that elderly people living alone feel more lonely. But living alone does not mean that everyone suffers from loneliness and the lack of the relationship where they can truly share their feelings is a big factor. In 2019, about 4 out of 10 people over the age of 13 were satisfied with their current life. Whereas only 1 out of 4 people over the age of 65 reported that they were satisfied with their current life, a decrease of 4.9% compared to 2018. As the smartphone ownership rate of the elderly increases, interest in the health management and the prevention through smartphones is increasing. In particular, uh, since many elderly people have uh, chronic diseases, the usefulness of in health care to regularly manage health conditions and prevent worsening these symptoms is uh, raised. In the case of the elderly looking for health information by themselves using a smartphone, they were satisfied with the information obtained through these efforts and showed confidence that they could manage their own health through such satisfaction. If you think health information is useful like this, it's highly related to online health-related behavior. Considering that health information apps are useful, continuous news the health information apps can be induced. In order to reduce the information gap and social alienation of the elderly, efforts to strengthen their digital literacy are required. Uh, whereas the discussion of information gave in the past focused on access and use of PCs, the present focus is more on strengthening digital literacy capabilities such as device, access and use, understanding and utilization of content, information sharing, communication, and participation. Therefore, by analyzing the correlation between the digital literacy and smartphone use of the elderly, their sense of loneliness, quality of life, and health promotion behavior for the elderly this study intended to use it as a uh, base data for preparing a program to increase health promotion behaviors by promoting this uh, literacy. The purpose of this study was to identify the correlation between digital literacy, loneliness, quality of life, and health promotion behaviors among the elderly aged between 65 or over and under 75 years. 
This study is a descriptive correlation study to understand the relationship between digital literacy, smartphone use, loneliness, quality of life, health promotion behavior, and these variables for the young or the elderly. The population of the subject this study is young or the elderly who use digital devices nationwide and the convenience sampling method was used for the elderly who were registered as a number of macromere and brain on online research company. The sample size was this study was determined by correlation analysis using the G-Power program with effect size 0.30, significance level 0.05, power is 0.95 as a result of two-sided test. The minimum number of people of the appropriate sample size was calculated as 134, but considering the drop-out rate of 20%, 161 was selected as the initial subject. The final analysis was 159 people excluding two copies with poor responses and who agree, agreed to understand and cooperate with this study. For general characteristics, uh, used referring uh, to the items used, uh, the area, gender, age, medical status, cohabitation time, education and background, religion, has status, standard of living, smartphone use time, and smartphone use level was measured with a total of 11 questions. It's a research tool. The digital literacy measurement tool in this study were based on the scale developed by Gang et al. There are a total of 28 items and uh, um, 5 point record scales. And in this study, Chromebase Alpha uh, 0.95. It's a research tool. The digital literacy measurement tool in this study was based on the scale developed by Gang et al. There are a total of 28 items and a five point record scale. And in this study, Chromebus Alpha 0.95. The loneliness measurement tool in this study was developed by Vincenzi and Grabowski and the uh, emotional and social loneliness inventory used by Lynn to study loneliness in the elderly. On a five point record scale and uh, Chromebus Alpha uh, equal 0.90 for this study. The quality of life measurement tool used in this study was modified and supplemented by AIM, such as analysis studies on the quality of life of middle aged adults of low user. Uh, five uh, 
point to be equal to scale and uh, Cronbach's alpha is, was uh, 0.90. The health promoting behavior measurement tool in this study is a translation of the health promoting lifestyle profile tool developed by Walker and Hill Polaroki into Korean by Jung Jung Kyung and collected by Park was used. On a five point record scale and Columbus uh, alpha was 0 0.90 in this study. Data collection is uh, until June 1st, 2021 after receiving C University IRB. Uh, after explaining the research purpose and uh, procedure to the embryo operators, subjects were recruited through recruitment notice and explanation. The Google questionnaire URL was posted in the recruitment notice. The data collection was done by the subjects who surveyed by assessing the URL of the recruitment notice in order to protect the autonomy and rights of the subject. We first received the consent form for participation in the study online from the elderly who agreed to participate in this study. The Google questionnaire was distributed, distributed only to subjects who gave consent and questionnaire was completed in a self-filling format. After completing the survey, a gift was sent to the number written in the consent form for research participation and a, a separate Google questionnaire was received to maintain anonymity. anonymity. The collected data were analyzed using IBM SPSS and for each characteristics of the subject frequency and the mean and standard variation of each variable were calculated. Variables according to the characteristics of subjects were measured by t-test and one-way ANOVA and Pearson's correlation coefficient were obtained for the correlation of variables. Uh, its result uh, please refer to the characteristic of the subject. Table 1. Uh, please refer to Table 2. Table 3 shows this, this literature loneliness quality of life and 
principal motive, promotion behavior according to the characteristics of the subject. This director she was higher in male elderly than female elderly. There was a difference according to educational background and as a result opposed to her analysis, this director she was statistically uh, significantly higher in middle school or lower high school graduate than university graduate and graduate graduate group. It was low. There was a difference according to living standards and as a result of post hoc analysis, the very poor group had a statistically significantly lower distance victors than other groups. The feeling of loneliness differed according to marital status, and as a result of post hoc analysis, married was stuck statistically significantly lower than single. In the family tie, the feeling of loneliness was significantly higher in celibacy than in the case of living with family. There was a difference between the groups in health status. As a result of the post hoc analysis, the very weak and the weakness groups showed a significantly higher feelings of uh, loneliness than the healthy and very healthy groups. The weakness group was higher than the usually group. There was a difference according to the standard of living and as a result of the post hoc analysis, the very poor group had significantly higher feelings of loneliness than the usually and the free groups. Quality of life differed according to marital status, but there was no statistical difference between groups as a result of post hoc analysis. In the family type, living with the family and significantly higher quality of life than celibacy. There was a difference according to the educational background and as a result of the post hoc analysis, the quality of life of high school graduate was star, star, uh, still statistically significantly lower than that of university graduate group. Although there was a difference between groups in the health status as a result of the post hoc analysis, the health research showed that the very healthy and healthy group had a higher quality of life than the very weak weakness and the usually groups. There was a difference according to the standard of living as a result of the post hoc analysis. The very poor group had the lowest and the free group had the highest quality of life. Health promotion behavior is different according to educational background, but there was no difference between groups as a result of post hoc analysis. There was a difference between the groups in health status as a result, as a result of the post hoc analysis. The health group showed higher health promoting behavior than the very weak weakness and the usually groups and the very health groups was higher than the very weak 
for weakness growth. There was a difference according to the standard of grieving and as a result of the postal analysis, the very poor group had the lowest and the pre group showed that the highest health promotion behavior plays a repertoire tab 3. Table 4 shows the correlation between the subset digital literacy loneliness, quality of life, and the health promotion behavior. The subject digital literacy was positively correlated with quality of life and health promotion behavior. Loneliness was inversely correlated with quality of life and health promoting behavior. Quality of life was positively correlated with health promoting behavior. Please refer the tab. The purpose of this study was to correlate digital literacy, loneliness, quality of life, and health promoting behaviors in the young or the elderly, aged 65 or over and, and uh, under 75 years uh, of age. This literature was uh, positively correlated with quality of life and health promoting behavior and loneliness was inversely correlated with quality of life and health promoting behavior. Quality of life was positively correlated with health promoting behavior. This uh, supported the previous studies that this the literacy of the elderly affects their depression, loneliness, anxiety, and life satisfaction. Currently, with COVID-19, social distancing is the best way to prevent the spread of infection. Social activities and daily lives are changing in a non-pace-to-pace -pace manner. Going out is decreasing with delivery of daily necessity and eating out. The center of consumption has slipped online. Vaccination against COVID-19 is also being conducted through SNS or online reservations. Therefore, the digital alienation of the elderly in daily life has a great impact on the quality of life. Digital literacy was higher in male seniors than female seniors, and there is a difference depending on educational background and the living standards. Based on the result of this study, it suggested that digital literacy education programs for the elderly in the future is uh, necessary to reduce the elderly's feeling of loneliness and to increase the quality of life and the health promotion behaviors. In addition, in order to generalize the study, uh, it is suggested that the study be repeated by aiding the number of subjects and the various variables. Thank you.